your router stores the setting for your home Wi-Fi network. So if you want to change something, you have to log into your router software, also known as a firmware. From there, you can rename your network, alter the password, adjust the security level, create a guest network, and set up or modify a variety of other options. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details. I'm sure that you know what you're getting yourself into. Hey guys, Vizio here and I'm back with another video and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can log into your router setting from any PC and any browser. If you want to change the Wi-Fi settings from your mobile device, make sure to click on the i button and watch this video which I'm showing on the screen right now. And if you want to increase your internet speed, make sure to check out this playlist which I created a year ago. I'll make sure to bring up more videos related to internet speed increase. But till that time, you guys can watch these videos, they still work. So without further ado, let's just get right into how to log into your router setting. So the first step is different for Windows PC and Mac OS, but the rest of the video is absolutely same. So the first step is for Windows PC first, you have to click on the start button and type in CMD. Right click on it and click run as administrator. After clicking yes, a window like this will pop up. This is called the command prompt. And here you have to type in this code, which I'll make sure to mention on the screen right now. The code is IPCONIFG, ipconfig. And once you type it down, just hit enter. And what you have to do now is under wireless LAN adapter Wi-Fi, you will see a default gateway. You have to copy this default gateway. So in my case, it is 192.168.1.1, but in your case, it can be 192.168.0.1 or something else. So whatever is written there, just copy it, open a new tab, paste it in the address bar and hit enter. Now you should be greeted with your internet service provider's login page or your router's manufacturer's login page. So for the step one for Mac OS, you have to press the command key and spacebar at the same time. This will bring up spotlight search on your Mac OS. Type in terminal in the search bar that appears. Double click on the top one. Now copy the text that is given in the description, paste it into the terminal that opened up and hit enter. Now your default gateway will be displayed here. So moving on to the step two. So if you already know the username and the password, you can just enter them and you'll get inside. But if you do not know the username and the password, what you can do is try admin and password as password. But if that doesn't work, what you can do is go onto this website called router login. Uh, I'll make sure to link it in the description. So you can just go ahead and click on it. Now, once you get onto this website, you have to scroll down until you see default router password section and there would be a drop down menu. Just click on the drop down menu and select the manufacturer of your router. So in my case, it is Netgear. And once you select the manufacturer from the drop down list, just hit search. And it should show you the various models of the router that your manufacturer has made and all of their passwords. So you can either check for the model number on the back side of your router or uh, you can try them one by one if you don't want to put in that much effort. So once you have the username and the password for your router, all you have to do is go back to the login page and enter your username and password in the fields that are provided right alongside them and hit enter. So as you guys can see, I have been logged into my router's firmware. And from here, I can access all of the settings that my router provides. So that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a like. Make sure to subscribe if you want more videos relating to your technology queries. That's about it from my side. I'll see you in the next video.